above trains. Okay, that's better. Hey folks, Tim here, FT Lot, for the love of trains. Uh, welcome back. I know it's been a really long time, over a year, and I wish I had some fancy excuse to tell you why I haven't done any videos for that long, but uh, I really don't. I guess I'm just lazy, so. Uh, I have been working on trains, I just haven't been videoing the progress I've been making while I have been working on trains. So, um, I've been doing a little bit of work on my HO layout, not a whole lot. Um, I've recently gotten into G-scale railroading. Uh, last year I went to a train show, went out to somebody's house and they had a big display in their front yard and uh, boom, hook, I was in. Um, really enjoy it, it's, it's a lot of fun. We've, uh, we belong to a club, a local club in the area here. Um, and then me and a couple other guys are going to start uh, a loose affiliation, not necessarily a club. Uh, and we're going to do a mobile g scale layout so we can bring our track to pretty much anywhere. Any uh, community center, pavilion, parking lot, whatever. And we can set up our trains in crazy layouts and, and then run trains. Um, all the trains that we look or that we work with, um, we convert everything to battery power, and so it's all remote control, but it's battery power. So stuff that I'll, I'll be showing you here in the future. It's really cool, um, and uh, hope hope everybody enjoys it. I still will do reports or information updates on my HO scale, um, some of the N scale, my O scale shelf layout. I've done a little bit more on that. Um, but yeah, my, most of my time has been kept up with uh, getting this G-Scale stuff ready for this year and trying to get some upcoming uh, events to go to to try to showcase this G-Scale railroad. So, with that being said, I'll show you a couple of the comparisons of the scale and then a couple purchases I've made. And uh, I'll keep it real short for the first one here. I don't want to get into it too, too much here. i got a lot to say. So I should be able to spread it out over several, several videos. So, uh, with that being said, let's go. Okay, so the the uh, yellow Milwaukee Road is um, HO scale 187, and then these are the G scale size trains, the uh, 129. Uh, obviously, a little bit bigger. Uh, I need a little bit bigger area to have them. I don't think I'll have a layout in my basement. Not quite big enough and I thought about having one in my backyard but even that didn't seem wide enough to uh, be able to do some of the curves that I wanted to have. 15 foot and greater uh, diameter uh, curves. This is an example of a SD70 that I picked up and uh, Weathered, I'll show you what it looked like new. It was kind of beat up and was obviously a used purchase, but was able to put sound in it and everything to so have fun. Let me turn that up. Yep, lots of fun. This is going to be a fun, fun thing. Oh, I did buy a new air compressor, the uh, little two-gallon ones that I buy, the cheapos. I end up burning them up all the time because with uh, G-Scale, it takes obviously a lot more a lot more paint and uh, air to, to detail those. And so I got a six-gallon compressor this time, so hopefully that will last me a while and I can do a lot of weathering projects. My workbench has become completely filled with G-Scale projects. This is a frame of a SD40-2 Santa Fe engine that I've converted to battery power with a air wire board and the soundboard, a Phoenix Sound P8 soundboard as well. Um, again, I'll get into more of that stuff in the future and show you how I've been doing these. Uh, it's kind of neat and uh, yeah.
Okay, so that's pretty much just a real quick overview of what I've been doing with the G-Scale stuff. Uh, like I said, there'll be more to come and it'll be more in depth. I gave some comparisons of some cars that I bought and I've modified them and weathered them and got them looking more to my liking, which is dirty and grimy. So, um, I guess with that being said, I'll have some more videos for you in the future here. I'll try to space them out a little bit so there's not so many all at, at once. Um, thanks again for subscribing. Thanks to all the subscribers who have been subscribing over the last year or so that I haven't been doing videos. That's pretty uh, pretty nice to see that there's people that still want to follow and want to hear. And I have gotten quite a few messages from people uh, encouraging me to get back into it. And uh, like I said, other than just being lazy, there's no other excuse. Uh, I still love the hobby. I'm still very in involved with it. I just haven't had the chance to, or haven't put the chance together. I haven't put the effort together to actually make a video and post it. So, again, with that being said, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, until the next time. I'm out.